Sugars. Sugars spike your insulin level, and when your insulin level is spiked like that, you don't metabolize well. Your body goes into kind of a holding pattern. And if you can think how much times we put sugar in or we eat something with high sugars, I mean, that thing's through the roof all the time. So uh, I'd say, you know, stay off sugars is key. Salt, stay off salt. And then, you know, try and stay off your saturated foods. You know, and do it and, and stick to it, you know, because. Your body will, to get rid of a bad habit, normally takes six weeks. All right, well, first thing with nutrition, Monavi, the way it fits in on, on my end and the way I'm, I really, I know with all my guys, it's a, it's a huge positive, is it fills in right with that, that, like that super, Anti I mean, and we all know antioxidants, we need that, we need it for, for all the free radical damage, but when you're training, you're breaking down a lot of, you know, from muscle, you're lowering your glycogen levels, there's a lot of things that you're actually depleting, okay, and there is a window, and normally after training, I mean, that's about 20 to 30 minutes window that you really want to start getting in good, you know, nutrition, so when they come and they need their carbs, they need their protein for the muscle rebuilding, they need good sources of fat, but Monavi fits in there being the superpower to join in and get good ingredients into your body. So that's the way I look at it. So in the morning, as you you know, you've been sleeping for nine hours minimum, you get up, your body does need, you know, some good nutrition. So obviously breakfast, adding it in there is just that additive. It's almost as I say, that high powered additive. And then uh, in the evenings after your training during the day, you know, you do need to, you know, replace all those those levels and obviously good in the evenings. But a lot of times during the day, if we've had hard sessions, we add it in there again, you know, just to, to cover our bases, you know. So that's where I feel Monavi is that super additive to nutrition. Actually, that's one big, you know, problem. If they don't, they neglect that rest side of it. So, yeah, that is key. And, and you know, in the gym, I mean, we don't work out every day. It's every, you know, second day. So you're giving those muscles time to regroup, and rebuild, and regrow, and get that memory back. I mean, because yeah, you break down muscle, and and you, you know, in a way, you're tearing your body, your, your body down a little bit. But it has a memory to grow back bigger and better. Okay. So the key off that is actually good nutrition and good rest. Well, you know, the thing with drugs and all that, it's an alien to the body. So yes, it might cut off the pain threshold or the levels. And I always say, man, if I've got some bone sticking through my leg, you give me whatever I can to shut it down. But it's hard on the kidneys. The body's got to, utilize, to get rid of that out of the system because it's an alien. It's not a natural thing. It's cutting off links to the brain, to everything. So it's a little band-aid. Now with Mona V, what better product could you give your body to work with to heal? So if you can hold off all the drug stuff and rather feed your body with a better, it's gonna, you know, an ingredient, it's gonna heal quicker. I mean, it's a fact. So when, when we do have injuries, we turn it up more with the Monavi, there's no doubt. I mean, even with, J with James and getting ACL repair and that, that's one of the biggest things. I say, well, we turn that up because you'd wanna feed your body as, as good as possible to heal as quickly as possible.